My wife and I used to play phone tag a lot. She'd call, and I'd be away from my desk, and I'd call her back, and she'd be in a meeting. Then we discovered Windows Live Messenger, an instant messaging program that shows you when your friends are online so you can chat with them in real time. Hi, I'm Tetsu Yamada, a writer on the Windows team. Today, we'll go over the basics of getting started with Messenger and then take a look at some of the different ways you can stay in touch with friends. First, let's look at how to get set up. If you don't have Messenger on your computer, you can install it for free from the Windows Live website. You'll need a Windows Live ID to sign in and use Messenger. After you've signed in, add some friends to Messenger so you can start chatting with them. You can do that by clicking this button here. This sends an invitation to friends to join you on Windows Live and to install Messenger if they don't already have it. After your friend accepts your invitation, you'll see when they're available to chat, when they're away, and when they're busy. You can organize friends into different categories. For example, if I place my wife in the favorites category, she'll always be easy to find here at the top of the list. To start chatting with someone, just double-click their name to open a conversation window. Type what you want to say, and then press Enter to send your message. Now that we're all set up, let's take a look at some ways to personalize Messenger. Let's start by adding a display picture. Your display picture appears next to your name and makes it easier for people to identify you when you start chatting. The easiest way to add a display picture is by dragging a photo here. I'm going to use this photo from a recent fishing trip. Like adding a display picture, you can change your scene, this area at the top of the main window. Just drag a photo you want to use here, or click the paintbrush that appears up here to choose a scene that came with Messenger. Let's see how all of this looks. I'm going to send a message to my wife. When I start chatting with her, I see the display picture and scene that she chose, and she sees what I chose. I can also see her personal message and the music she's listening to right now. If you want to share these, just click here in the main window to enter a quick message, and select this option to show friends what you're listening to. One of the great things about Messenger is that it's more than just instant messaging. For example, I can drag personal photos I want to share into a conversation window. This starts a slideshow right in Messenger so I don't have to send an email with the photos attached. My friends can even save any photos they want from the slideshow. I can also play games like checkers online. I just click the games button, select a game from the list, and then invite my friend to play. If we both have webcams, I can start a video chat by clicking the video button. This is a fun way to catch up with friends face to face. Those are just a few of the things you can do using Messenger. If you haven't had a chance to try it yet, install Messenger for free from the Windows Live website. It's a fun and easy way to stay in touch with friends.